Hey Audacious Church, it's Josiah here. I am bringing you your devotional today. So we're going to be reading out of 1 Chronicles 5 verse 20. Just to give you a bit of a background context around this verse, the Reubenites, the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh have waged war against the Hagrites, Jatur, Nafish and Nodab. So going right in with the verse, they were helped in fighting them, and God delivered the Hagrites and all their allies into their hands because they cried out to him during the battle. He answered their prayers because they trusted in him. And so the title of this uh, this devotional, I've, I've, I've called it, is When the Battle Seems the Hardest. We've all seen in the films the chaos and danger of battle, and our spiritual battles are much the same. At times it feels like the world is against us in our fight, the walls seem to be closing in, the enemies at the gates and all help seems lost. But we have this not so secret, secret weapon. His name is Jesus. The victory is already won. He has taken the keys to death and Hades. So when you're in the heat of battle and you feel like things are going awry, call out to the Lord. He'll give you the strength to, the, uh, to stand. As like the Reubenites, Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh, the Lord will deliver you as the battle is his. The victory is already won. So right now, I just want to pray over all of you. So Lord, I just want to thank you for the word that you, uh, you've brought today. And I, I just pray right now that this word seeps into everyone's hearts. And, and when the fight seems the hardest and, and when things don't seem like they're going right, that you, Lord, would remind us to call out to you in those moments, to give us the strength to be able to just stand. Because we know, we know, Lord, that you have given us the victory. So I just want to bless everyone right now, Lord, with provision, everything they need, the strength and courage to continue fighting when things don't seem like they're going their way. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya.